Good morning friends, welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last few videos, I have discussed the rules for computing the first and even I have discussed few examples to find the first of a terminals and non-terminals. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos, I request you to go back and watch those videos and learn how to compute the first. In this video, I want to discuss about how to compute the follow with certain rules and then I will discuss one example for better understanding. So I request everyone to watch the complete video. First let me discuss the rules for computing the follow. Follow of yes contains always contains okay dollar where yes is the start symbol. By this time I think everyone know how to identify the start symbol from a given grammar am I right? Suppose if you look at it, the start symbol is what? Yes. So if you are computing the follow of S, yes, it will consist of dollar also. Is it clear? That is the rule number one. Now let me discuss about the rule number two. If A determines A, B, C is a production where A, B, C are any grammar symbols, okay? Then follow of B is first of C except epsilon. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Let me repeat again. If you want to compute the follow of B, follow of B is what? After B what is coming? That is what follow. Is it clear? After B what is coming? After B what it is coming is that you need to compute this first. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? First of this one, whatever you are getting, you should consider except epsilon. Even it will consist of, if it consists of epsilon, let's take that. If you are computing the first of C, if it consists of epsilon, then follow of B will consist of follow of A also. That is the rule here I am saying. If A determines A, B, C is a production, then follow of B is first of C. If first of C contains epsilon, then follow of B contains first of C minus epsilon union follow of a are you able to understand is it clear if you does not understand with the rules don't worry i will discuss with few examples if a determines c and b is a production then follow of b is what follow of b is after b follow of a only is it clear after b nothing is following so follow of b is follow of a okay so with these rules i will discuss one example for better understanding. So why I am stressing about the first? Because if you want to compute the follow of anything, sometimes we need to compute the first. Am I right? So that's why if you want to understand about the follow, you should know how to compute the first of the non-terminals. Now can you tell me what are the non-terminals and the terminals from this grammar? The non-terminals are S, A and B. Will you agree with me or not? These are the symbols which are there in the left hand side of the productions. So we will call them as a non-terminals. What is terminals? The symbols which are there in the right hand side other than the non-terminals. Small a, small b, small c, small d, even you have a epsilon. You no need to consider the epsilon but just for your understanding even I have considered the epsilon. Okay. Now what is the start symbol? S is the start symbol. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? So, as when you are computing the follow, you need to compute the first. Let me compute the first of each non-terminal. Then we will discuss about how to compute the follow. Is it clear? So that even those who don't know how to compute the first, maybe they can also understand. Okay. First of S is what? First of A. First of A, where A is a terminal, you will get the A only. Am I right? First of A is equal to first of C, which is C is a terminal, so you will get C. Even first of A consists of epsilon, so you will have epsilon. Is it clear? I hope you have understanding. Now first of B is equal to first of D, where D is a terminal, if you get it, first of a terminal is equal to terminal only. And even you get the epsilon, so you will get it. So, this is very simple. For this grammar, 
I have computed the first of all the known terminals very easily. Now we will discuss how to get the follow of all the known terminals. Follow of S yes is equal to what? It is a start symbol, so it will consist of dollar. Now what you have to do? You need to check because you want to compute the follow of S. You need to check where the S is there in the right hand side symbol. That is what if whatever you are computing the follow, if it is there in the right hand side, then you need to look at it what is there after that one. For that one, you need to compute the first. Am I right or wrong? So to do that one, the S should be there in the right hand side of the productions. If you look at these three production, S is not there. So I can say that follow of S is only dollar. How many members have understood? I don't know. Look at it again. As S is the start symbol, first of S consists of dollar. Then you need to look at in the right hand side of the production anywhere S is there. If it is there, then you will suppose let's take that S is there here. Okay. Now if S is there, then you will compute the first of B. Are you able to understand that first of B also consists of follow of S. Is it clear? Okay. Now anyway, I will discuss with this one. Follow of A. Follow of A where A is a not a start symbol. Then if it is not a start symbol, obviously it will not consist of dollar. Is it clear? Are you able to understand if it is a start symbol, then compulsorily it should be dollar. Is it clear? Now you need to look at where A is there in the right hand side. Here A is there in the right hand side. Now look at this rule. A determines A, B, C. Follow of B is equal to first of C. Now follow of A is equal to first of B. What is first of B? Is D and they said that except epsilon. So you don't consider the epsilon. Remember always follow of any non-terminal will not consist of epsilon. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Because B and epsilon we can write it as B. Am I right? So follow of B after that nothing is there. So follow of any non-terminal will never consist of epsilon. Please note this point. Now follow of A is nothing but first of B which is D. Now look at it. What they said except epsilon. So that's why I did not consider epsilon. Now look at this rule. If first of X consists of, if first of C consists of epsilon, then follow of B contains first of C minus epsilon. And then you look at this one. Suppose if, it, if I keep the epsilon here, let's take that. If I keep the epsilon here in place of B, I can keep the D or epsilon. If I keep the D, I am getting the follow of A as D. If I keep the epsilon here, then this production will look like A, A, B. Will you agree with me or not? Now follow of A is what? First of B, which is a terminal, you will get the B. How many members have understood? I don't know. Let me repeat again. In place of B, what you can keep these productions only, you can keep either you can keep the D or you can keep the Epsilon. So if you expand it, this grammar will looks like S determines A, A, D, B or A, A, B. Now follow of A is first of D and first of B where both are terminal. So I got the D and B. Is it clear for you? Okay. With practice, you will understand, don't worry. With one example, if you does not understand, don't worry. I will discuss with another examples. What is this one if you will have here? I think you will have small b. Okay. Now, we need to compute the follow of b. Okay. Is it clear? Follow of b is what? Where you need to look at in the right hand side of the production where the capital B is there. Here it is there. So fall of B is what? First of B, where B is a terminal, so you will get B only. So this is the way you need to compute the follow of the non-terminals. So for this grammar, follow of S is dollar, fall of A is B comma D, and fall of B is only B. So I hope with this example, you have understood how to compute the follow. If you still have any doubts or if you does not understand, don't worry, I will discuss few more examples in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.